given the restriction that the sum of the first number and twice the second number is 24. So let's look at that. So the first number we'll call x, twice the second number, the second number we're gonna call y, the sum of those adds up to 24. Now we wanna maximize the product, and the product you can think of that as x times y. We're trying to find the maximum product when you multiply the two numbers together. But you can see the issue here, we've got two variables, and what we wanna do is we wanna combine those two equations into one equation with one variable. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna solve for y in terms of x. So I'm gonna subtract x from both sides of the equation, and I'm gonna divide everything by two. So if I do that, you can see that I'm getting y equals negative one half x plus 12. Now, since we know what y equals, let's go ahead and put that in place of y in the product equation, and we have p equals x times negative one half x plus 12, and we can distribute the x to both of these, so that gives us negative one half x squared plus 12x equals the product. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that the a value is negative, and this is a quadratic equation, an x squared equation, which tells us that the parabola is opening down like this. Okay, so there's the product, here's the x value, and we're trying to find out what x value gives us a maximum product. So you can see that occurs at the vertex. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this problem. One way to do it is to go ahead and find the vertex any which way you want. You, for example, you could use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. If you use that uh, technique, it would be the opposite of 12 over 2 times negative 1 half, which let's see, that would be negative 1. Negative 12 divided by negative 1 gives us positive 12. So you can see when x is 12, that's going to give us the maximum product. Or you could do the completing the square technique and put it into vertex form. That's another way to do it. So let me see if I can show you that. It would be negative 1 half, and we've got x squared, um, let's see, minus 24x uh, plus blank. Half of negative 24 is negative 12. Negative 12 squared is uh, 144. But if we're adding 144, that's actually negative 1 half times 144, which is negative 72. To counterbalance that, I'm going to add 72. And so you can see that if we factor this, now you can see that the vertex is at 12 comma 72. So you can see here this is 12 comma 72, which means the product is 72 and x is 12. Now if we want to find that second number y, what you can do is you can go back to this original equation that we wrote, okay, or the variation of it right here, and go ahead and substitute 12 in for x. So if we do that, we get y equals negative 1 half times 12, uh, plus 12, which gives us negative 6 plus 12, which means that y equals 6. So our two numbers are going to be 12 and 6.